everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry and this is Zoe Roberry. Zoe is my dog and we are actually starting a whole series on Zoe. We have recently uh, lost our boy Deuce who was our other German Shepherd and so we're just kind of adjusting to things and I figured I wanted to do a series uh, based on her and her adjustments and also a little bit of a weight loss journey. <laughs> She has a few pounds to lose, so we are going to kind of talk about the things that we are doing to help her lose weight, to get to a healthy weight, um, different types of food, different types of treats that we've switched to. We're obviously walking her more um, because our boy Deuce had some serious mobility issues. Uh, we were not able to walk her as often as she needed. We're able to go to the dog park now and meet new friends, which I'm actually going to plug in a video from the dog park. Don't lay down, they can't see you. <laughs> She's like, I'm over it. Um, we are going to the dog park more and just keeping her super active. So um, that's what this series is basically going to be based on. Uh, just kind of her, I don't wanna say it's just her weight loss journey because there's some other things that we're gonna talk about as well, but uh, definitely some, we've had some struggles since she is such a food driven dog. Uh, so she has gained some weight, mostly within the last year she's gained the most weight and mostly within the last few months. Uh, what we were finding was with Deuce, he was getting medications every four hours around the clock. So every time he would get his medication, she would think he's getting a treat. So I'm the enabling mom. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want her to feel like I don't love her. So I would give her treats every time he would get treats. He took so many medications and they were human sized pills because he was the size of a human. Uh, he would get two pill pockets so he would essentially get two treats per se. So she would have to have two treats. <laughs> it was bad. And then he got kind of picky and we would mix in wet food and with his dry kibble. And so he got the wet food. She got the wet food. Um, he was pretty, I want to say he was sensitive, but he was kind of sensitive when it came to types of food and 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 whatnot so we found a food that he that worked really well for him uh it was higher in carbs um so i know that sounds kind of silly when we're talking about dogs but carbs matter to dogs too like it, it's crazy so she's essentially kind of on a keto diet like she's strictly protein little to no carbs. So we're going to kind of talk about that. Um, also we're going to talk about kind of the different types of treats and things that we're, that we're getting into and kind of document this little journey of hers because she's needing to lose, lose some weight. Um, but not only, not only that, but just how she's readjusting to life without her friend. Um, she is like she used to be super super hyper and like all over the place and she still is fairly playful but she's lost a little bit of that fire so we're just trying to spoil her as much as possible give her all the toys not so many treats <laughs> all the love and just take her out with us as much as we possibly can um and all of that so i don't know if i told you her mix. So we, we did, we did rescue her. Uh, she is a German Shepherd Husky mix is what we're thinking. Um, and she's got crazy energy. Let me tell you, I know it doesn't seem like that right now, but, um, when she is more herself, she's all over the place and she's dramatic and I just, I just love her. So it's so funny when we take her to the dog park, there's a few Huskies there and there are some definite like Husky traits. Let me tell you, I think she's definitely more Husky than she is German Shepherd. Uh, the dramatics, <laughs> the, uh, 
squeaky whine she has when she gets super excited. Um, it was so funny. I'm actually, like I said, I'm gonna put in a little clip of our visit to the dog park. Was that yesterday? Yesterday. Um, and there was, ugh, I missed this opportunity, this like perfect video opportunity of her and this husky kind of like mirroring each other. It was the strangest thing. It was so cute though. I, I loved it. So, um, yeah, so that is pretty much what her series is going to be based on. I'll do a video based on what food we're giving her and what treats and, um, some of the things that we are doing to kind of have her readjust to this new life, uh, without, without her buddy one of the things you know because dogs grieve just as much as humans do if not a little bit more because she doesn't understand what happened um i feel like when we came to the end with deuce she did kind of understand what was happening because like i remember the last morning with him she kind of let us have our our time with him where normally she would be all up in our business. Like I would always say like she's Miss Jealousy because she would always be like, you're giving him love. I need the love. Like, hello, I'm here, you know? And she just like, let us have our space with him. Uh, but she is definitely grieving her loss as well. Uh, there are certain routines and things she, that have been thrown off. Uh, I, we didn't realize, my husband and I didn't realize how much of a follower she was because he was definitely the alpha dog to her. And she was so much of a follower. I mean, to the point of when someone rings the doorbell or knocks on the door, like she doesn't even bark anymore. We're working on that. So we're actually like kind of retraining her. Um, cause I want her to bark when someone's at our door, <laughs> you know, I'm like you're a dog. Like say hello this is my house can i help you um but yeah so it's all like readjusting and retraining to this new kind of life uh it was something that still breaks my heart is uh when we leave we're getting more into like letting her out of the kennel deuce was was not kenneled as a puppy he was kenneled because he was he, oh gosh, <laughs> he tore some things up for sure. But then once we trusted him some more, we let him, we let him stay out of the kennel while we were gone. And, um, this one, <laughs> she, she, she made quite the disaster. I remember there was one time she, um, we thought, well, let's, let's give it a try. Let's see if she can be out of the kennel. We came home or it was my husband. He had gotten home from work before. I did and she had torn our couch to shreds like she pulled the actual couch from the wall and like tore it to shreds I I'm not even exaggerating it was it was something so we we're like yeah you're gonna be kenneled so we have a really large kennel it's not it's actually two of the largest kennels that they make from this particular brand and we have them linked together so it's like like a double wide <laughs> so she so one half of it is her bed and then the other half there's a bowl of water in there for her and she gets this kong ball she gets the the kong treats are like amazing uh, it's this red kong ball that you can put a little bit of paste um stick a treat inside and then it keeps them busy and she'll have to try to work for it so one of the things that she used to do, so she would go in the kennel, we would lock her in the kennel when we would leave and Deuce would get his Kong as well. And what she would do is whenever we would get home, we'd let her out of the kennel and she'd immediately go for his Kong. And cause he would never get the treats from the inside. All he cared about was the paste. He's like, I'm not working for that. <laughs> He's like, it is not worth it for me. He was not food driven. He was more toy driven and just like, he wanted, he got satisfaction knowing that he made you happy as a person and toys. He wasn't really food driven. Like he didn't really care that much about food or treats or anything like that. So he wanted the paste, but not so much the treat inside. So she would get the treat. That was another thing that 
helped her put on some pounds, she would get the treat that was in his Kong. So when we come home now, she looks for his Kong, you know, and it's, it's not there. So, but those are additional calories that she's not getting. So <clears throat> just kind of how we are readjusting. So that is what you can look forward to. I'm sorry that she is. <laughs> Zoe, wake up. Come here. Say hi to our friends. Say hi to our friends. <laughs> she's, she's so, she's so tired. I don't know why we didn't even go on a walk today because the weather is really bad. We've got a big storm coming in. We went to the dog park yesterday, but you can't still be tired from that. <laughs> I know what's going to wake her up. She is food driven mostly, but she is toy driven like it is nobody's business. You guys saw this in a haul. This is a Scentsy tennis ball. She loves these so much. I'm surprised she didn't see me just pull it out of my bag over here. Um, squeakers and this exact tennis ball. Like she doesn't really care about like the bright yellow or green tennis balls, even if they do squeak. These she'll play with them. She will kill this squeaker in about, I'll, we'll be lucky if we get five minutes out of the squeaker, but then she still plays with it after. She just, I don't, I know do most dogs are supposed to be colorblind, so I don't know if she sees the color. Oh, who's joining us? Now you want to say hi to our friends. <laughs> She's like, I will take that. So we are playing with her more. We're going on more walks. My husband leaves really super early in the morning. So what we do is we go on a family walk together. <laughs> I will take that, thank you. Oh, now she's happy. <laughs> um, we take a family walk together super early in the morning, go on, a walk around the neighborhood and then if weather permits um, we'll, we will either take an evening walk as a family or I can try to walk her in the afternoon. Can you see her? <laughs> She's so cute. Say hello friends. I'm so pretty. All right you guys so this is going to be Zoe's journey. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. Otherwise, we will see you in our next video. Bye, guys.